Hello, boys and girls. I'm gonna show you now how we are going to create our sketchbook covers. Um, this is my sketchbook right here. If you already have something neat on your cover that you have from last year, you can always just decorate the back cover. I'm gonna show everyone how we decorate the front cover though. Um, so this is my sketchbook and my goal is to cover this cardboard piece with a new sheet of white paper so that I can put some new designs on my sketchbook. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the front cover here and I'm going to choose a sheet of paper that kind of matches my front cover but is a little bit bigger. Okay, so my sketchbook right now is kind of a medium size. Notice how my hand is a little bit smaller than it. So I'm going to go to the basket in the front of the room that's labeled medium. This paper looks like it covers my cover pretty well but it's still a little bit bigger on the side so this is perfect for my cover if your cover is really really big it's much bigger than this um, you'll get a big sheet of paper if it's much smaller than this you'll get a smaller sheet of paper from the small basket so i've got my white paper ready to go i'm just going to take the front cardboard cover i'm going to place my white paper on my table and just open up the cover so that it lays on top of the white paper now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to have a little piece of white on all the sides. It looks kind of like the width of your finger. If it would be like an inch like that, you can put your fingers like this. As long as there's a little bit sticking out, then you're good. So I've got a little bit sticking out on all three sides. I'm gonna line up the metal part of my sketchbook or the binding is what we call it with the edge of my white paper. See how it lines up perfectly on the sides there? That will tell me that I'm in the, on the right track. So I'm just gonna start with the bottom here and I'm just gonna kinda act like I'm wrapping up a present. I'm gonna take my paper and fold it around my cover until I meet the side here. And then once I can feel that I've met the side, I'm just gonna press down and over like I'm folding a sheet of paper. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tape at my table, this masking tape, and I'm just gonna get a piece that is about that same size and rip it off or cut it off and make sure that that paper sticks to the cardboard cover. If I have a little bit extra here, I can just cut that off or rip it off. So now this bottom part is stuck down really well. I'm gonna do the same thing for the side and the top. Just wrap it around, kind of like I'm wrapping up a present. Make sure I feel that edge of my sketchbook and fold and crease down with my fingers. Get a new sheet of tape here and just tape it down. Same thing for the top, fold it around, press down and over, my fingers down and over, get a new sheet of tape here, and just tape it down. So basically what I've just done is I've kind of just wrapped up my sketchbook cover, kind of like a present like I was saying before, and now I've got a new blank surface that I can design a new cover on top of. So it should meet my sketchbook all the way around, okay? So here's where I'll design my cover design. Now, what we're gonna talk about for our cover design, um, our theme or idea for our cover is going to be the word typography. So when we look at typography, that's just a funny word for different types of text. When you're kind of typing on the computer, you can choose different types of fonts or lettering for your words, and they have different designs to them. That is what typography is, just different types of text. So I'm gonna give you two options for your sketchbook cover. On top of your sketchbook, you can think of a um, phrase to put on top or a quote, or you can just write um, my sketchbook. So if it was me, I would put Miss Butner's sketchbook. If your name was Johnny, you could put Johnny's sketchbook. Now notice how I didn't just write normal letters. I'm using different types of letters for each letter in my name and each letter in the word sketchbook. So this S right here is kind of a zigzag line all the way around. It's very different from this T. The T is very different from the C and the C is very different from the B. Every letter is different. So these worksheets at your table will help you to see different ways that you can draw different types of letters to make your sketchbook cover and the words on it more interesting. So I'm just using a Sharpie marker to write my letters and I'm adding some colorful designs on top with markers. So you can, after you finish your lettering, add some pictures like I did around and you can use some color with markers or you can use crayons or oil pastels. So that's one option for you. The second option is a different type of typography 
and I'm going to show you how we can create something called 3D lettering. So on this page of my sketchbook right here, I just have an example of how I created two 3D letters. So I'm thinking about the initials of my name, NB. So my first name starts with N, my last name starts with B. And in my basket, I'm going to find those two letters, N and B. So I'm going to show you how we can trace these to make these 3D looking letters like they're popping out at us. So let's pretend this is my sketchbook cover right here. I'm going to start with the letter N. I'm going to use a pencil to trace this first anywhere on my sketchbook cover. I think I'm going to put it on the top here so I have enough room for the B. Holding with my fingers, I'm just going to try my best to go around all these edges and curves of this letter. And you might have to move your fingers around a little bit so that you can get all the edges here. I'm going to move my hand around so I can get this side. I'm going kind of slow so that I can get all the sides here. And once I think I've got all the sides, I can take my letter off. Looks like I've got it. Okay, so now to make this letter look 3D, I'm now going to take the letter and just push it down or to the side a little bit so you can see the end poking out of the second end here. I have to now put my pencil away and I have to get a marker, a different color than my pencil. So I'm just going to repeat what I just did. I'm just going to trace this one more time with this blue marker going all the way around the edges. Moving my fingers around, going very slowly so I can get all the edges here. Move my hand around. Okay, and then once I think I've got all the edges here again I can take my pencil or I'm sorry my marker off and there I've traced another end so my job now the third step is I'm going to put my marker away and get um, actually I'm going to keep my marker out I'm keeping my marker out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in that end and I'm going to try and cover color in all the spaces of the end that are around the blue line I think I'm going to switch to a thick marker so I can get all those area is really filled in. Here we go. So everything that is blue, I'm going to fill it in with the blue marker. All the blue lines here. So I think I'm just going to outline it so that I know where I'm going. And then once I know where I'm going, I'm just going to block it in with the marker. So I'm just coloring in that end that I traced with my blue marker. Now I will be covering up some of that end that I traced from before and that's okay. You'll find out why in a second. Okay, I have filled in my whole end there. Now I'm gonna go back to my pencil and look at that end that was popping out from the beginning, the end that I traced in the beginning. I'm just gonna use that to make a shadow now. So starting at the edge here of the end, I'm just gonna make a straight line from one end to the next and then I'm going to shade this side in. Now I'm reaching another corner here. Every time I reach a corner, I'm going to make a straight line and shade around the curve of the end. Now I'm reaching a point here again on the end. I'm going to make a straight line at the point and shade. Now straight line at that point, shade. And then straight line at that point and shade. Okay, I've done this whole side of the end. I'm going to bounce around to here now shade 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 at this point make a straight line and then shade 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 straight line so i'm just connecting the two ends using straight lines and shading to make it look like it's a shadow of the end okay i think i'm going to erase this spot all right so i've got it i've got my n and a shadow behind it i could take my black marker if i really wanted to and darken this shadow around to make it look really dark or I can just keep it with the pencil. So what my cover will look like when I'm finished is my two letters N B and I can color them or design them any way that I like. I can add patterns to them. I can add pictures around the letters any way that you like.
Okay, so this is your typography, and then whatever happens around your typography is up to you. Okay, so two options for your sketchbook. Again, you can try the letters, or you can try the different types of typography letters. Okay, so that's your job today. Remember, start with your paper and your